Denver's chief meteorologist, Chris Boone. Oh, a little bit of activity across the Lone Stars today. We did see some showers kind of moving basically from the west to the east, and some of those brought some beneficial rain for parts of the Concho Valley. Though the heaviest rain stayed in towards parts of Sterling County and to as well out towards western Crockett County. And as it kind of moved its way across, kind of fizzled out. Still hanging on to some lingering showers in towards the Menard and Brady area. Not nearly as heavy as rain as we saw earlier in the day. Just a couple hours ago, we were seeing a lot heavier rain off towards the west. Again, likely to see it continue to fizzle out as we go into the evening and overnight hours. Uh, cloud coverage likely to persist into the evening as well. Not expecting a whole lot of rain. Still could see one or two uh, very isolated showers into the early morning hours, but most of that will start to break up as you get into the afternoon. And then we'll start to see those clouds break up as well. So it's going to make for a little bit warmer conditions, especially for our east or western counties. Where we see a little bit more of that sunshine. Uh, those temperatures could be increasing. Rain totals for the past 24 hours basically, again, mostly stayed in towards the Sterling, uh, Sterling County, just south of Sterling City. Uh, most of the rain stayed into the western parts. As it moved further east, though, it did start to kind of fizzle out. So a little bit of a mix. Not too many winners out there. But if you do try to win with the weather, you can always go to our website, ControValleyHomePage.com. We're winning with the weather is back for the next several weeks. And in fact, this week, up for grabs is a $150 gift card to HEB. All you have to do is go to our website and fill out the tab for your chance to win and that could be used so if you're missing out on the rain again increase those chances of winning and just go to your website and sign up for another shot to win we'll see those winds out of the south that's going to be a little bit on the breezy side even into the evening hours still seeing those winds kind of persisting out of the south gust up to 25 miles per hour likely to stay into the windy conditions for the next several days in fact and the temperatures also staying a little bit warmer as well still hanging on to the 70s for much of the Concho Valley into the low 70s 70 degrees in Brady 72 for Coleman Eden Bernard Bernard and San Angelo also at 72 degrees so again still seeing those temperatures slowly kind of coming back down thanks to the warmer temperatures that we saw this afternoon winds out of the south right now at 11 miles per hour and dew points into the 40s so not too humid not too dry either. As we go into the overnight hours, temperatures drop down into the upper 50s. Still a chance for one or two stray storms or showers, but for the most part, most of that rain has kind of kind of fizzled out as it moved off towards the east. Tomorrow, we'll see a chance for a stray shower into the early morning hours. By the afternoon, most of that breaks up. We'll just be looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperatures back into those mid-80s and still breezy conditions with those winds out of the southwest. Again, that is not going to go anywhere for the next several days. In fact, we're going to be looking at some windy conditions over the next uh, basically the entire week. We'll see those winds out of the south. That's going to keep things on the warmer side. We'll see those temperatures basically climb from the 80s back up into those low 90s as high pressure. Uh, that's going to stay pretty strong over much of the southern plains for the majority of your week ahead. Really won't be until the end of the week. But Thursday, Friday, we start to see our upper level low kind of push out of the north. That's going to bring some cooler air in towards our area by the weekend. And with it, could see a stray shower or two for Saturday and Sunday. So again, it's going to be mostly that cloud coverage, and then that cool air pushes off towards the northeast. We'll see that high pressure rebuild over the southwestern parts of the United States. So we'll see those temperatures kind of make a little bit of a rebound. So back and forth temperatures expected for the next couple of days. We'll see the skies really clear out for us on Wednesday through Thursday and Friday. See those temperatures into the low 90s, but that cold front makes its arrival late on Friday. That's going to usher in some much cooler temperatures as highs dip down into the 70s for the weekend. This week's Winning with the Weather Prize is provided by Service Master by Texas Best.